Hi guys! Today I have a new project for you and we're going to be doing another project that has to do with shapes. Shapes and lines, like I've said before, are some of the most important things you can learn in art if you want to get better as an artist. What we're going to be practicing today is not only drawing shapes, but also overlapping them. When you overlap shapes, it means you put one on top of another. So for example, here we have a circle and a triangle, and when they overlap, there's one on top of the other. With our drawing today, we're going to be overlapping shapes, but not only are we going to overlap them, we're also going to color in those sections that are overlapped a different color, so you might end up making some brand new shapes that you've never seen before. It's a fun project and it's pretty simple, but it's a great way to practice drawing shapes and also thinking about art in a different way. So go get your coloring supplies, whatever you have to color with at home, and let's get started. So when you're trying to make your overlapping shapes, you start by drawing shapes that you think you are able to draw. So some of the simple shapes that you could start with is a shape like a triangle. That's three straight lines. When you're making your picture, you can put your shapes anywhere on your page. You do not need to just do the same thing I'm doing. In fact, I would like it if you tried to do your own thing so that yours can be unique. Another shape you can try is a circle. Remember, not only are we learning to draw shapes, but we're also learning how to overlap them. So some of your shapes should be touching other shapes. In fact, I think it'd be nice if every single shape you did is touching at least one other shape. Now I'm going to draw a square. I'm going to make a big one down here that's touching my circle. So those are three shapes that are probably more simple. The triangle with three straight lines, the square with four straight lines, and the circle which is one round line. Now some other shapes you could try could be a heart. A heart is something that takes some practice, so don't feel bad if you can't do it perfect right away. A shape I did on here was this wiggly one, which I really like, so I'm gonna do that one again. I still have some space. There's definitely a big space here for another shape. Um, some shapes that you could try, you could try tracing your hand. My hand's a little big, so I'm not gonna do it because it would take up too much space. But maybe I'll do this kind of cloud shape I did on the first one. And you can really just keep going until you do as many shapes as you want. I think this is perfect. I have a lot of different shapes, but not too many. And now the next part is to color them in. But what's important is, if you want to color, let's say the heart pink, you wanna look for the parts that are overlapping, and those are gonna be a different color. I'll show you how it works on the heart. So see how I only colored in this part of the heart, but these two shapes that I made by overlapping, I'm gonna color different. So you can just decide what colors you wanna make them. So where I overlapped my shapes and colored different colors, I actually made brand new shapes. Maybe they're shapes that you can name, and maybe they're shapes that don't really have a name. But you did make some new shapes when you overlapped these other ones together. So take your time going around and coloring each shape a different color. And that includes those shapes that we created when we overlapped. So 
So I finished coloring in all my shapes and look at how many brand new shapes appeared when I took my time and colored those little sections different colors. It's just kind of fun to see the new shapes you get when you overlap them together. Now on the original, I did color in my background with a crayon, which I think is a great idea, but you don't need to. Um, I'm not gonna do it on this one, but that's an option as well. Well guys, I hope you had fun drawing your overlapping shapes with me today. I hope you got a lot of good practice drawing different shapes. Maybe you tried some shapes that I didn't draw. I would love to see what you made, so feel free to send it in to me. But I will see you guys next time for our next video. Bye.